Now, most of you guys love flying, but there's a small minority of people who hate flying and they never want to be near a plane. Well, I'm certain you'll be at the edge of your seats landing at these airports, and these are some of the most terrifying airports you can land at. So the first one is Madeira Airport in Portugal. The runway at Madeira is so short that engineers built a runway on stilts in order to allow larger jets to land. 180 columns hold up the runway, which is situated next to steep cliffs and the ocean. It's also incredibly windy, meaning that your landing will certainly be an exciting one. Now the next one is Tonkontin Airport in Honduras. This airport is hidden right away in the mountains, making the landing difficult with tight turns and short approaches. Aircraft have to turn a 45 degrees bank angle in order to line up with the runway, whilst rapidly dropping in altitude. Now a special edition is Quito Mariscal Sucre International Airport in Ecuador. I'm featuring this on the list as George, who helps me out on the Discord server, has actually landed there twice. The surrounding mountains means there is extreme wind shear and there's a lot of turbulence as a result of wind from different directions and temperatures colliding. The airport is also nearly 8000 feet above sea level, meaning a faster approach has to be made as a result of thinner air. He actually had a go around during his flight as the left wing dropped just before touchdown. Now next is Kaitak International Airport in Hong Kong. Now Kaitak is known for its incredibly low approach over Hong Kong and the airport requires pilots to make a 47 degree right turn just 2 miles before touchdown. And it also became known as Kaitak Heart Attack. Furthermore, crosswinds and no instrument landing systems made this airport very famous. Now another example is Princess Juliana International Airport in St. Martin. I don't think this one needs any explanation. Many of you guys will have seen videos of jets flying just meters above tourists on beach in front of the runway. The runway is so short and mountains lie just off the edge of the other side of the runway, so a sharp turn is made after takeoff. And finally, look at Tenzing Hillary Airport in Nepal. Now this is the most famous out of them all. The video could not be complete without the addition of Lukla. It's a small regional airport found at the base of Everest. It's the first stop for climbers who are aiming to climb the tallest mountain in the world. Named after Tenzing Hillary, the airport has a short sloped runway and if you overshoot the runway, then unfortunately you're headed straight into the mountains. So captains, these are a few examples of the most terrifying slash dangerous airports in the world. If you've ever flown to any of them, then share your experiences below. And if you feel like there's more to be added to this video, then share that with us also. Thank you so much for watching guys, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys very soon.